He was giving them commands since he had bad English. <clears throat> he had a hard time communicating. All right, so welcome back, guys, to our podcast. This one is just quickly improvised from Greece, Santorini. And we just came back from a wedding. So, how, how was it, in your opinion? The wedding was different because of the climate. It was so hot. It was so, so hot. I don't know if anyone can imagine working a half day in scorching sun, but... Without any shade. No, yeah, exactly. No shade and no clouds whatsoever. Clear skies. But the venue was gorgeous. The places we went to to have the couple's photo shoots and video shoot was gorgeous. And the couple was beautiful. So... Yeah, I would say it was a nice experience. First time our wedding in uh, Santorini. Yeah. And uh, in which city was the wedding? Santorini. Oh, uh, so the island is Santorini. So the country is Greece. The island is Santorini. And the city is Fira, which is the capital city of Santorini. Yes. It was really nice. But uh, what time... Uh, did we start and what time did we have the scheduled hours? So the scheduled hours, it was uh, from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. I don't think anyone has an outdoor wedding in Santorini before 5 p.m. Because before it's... noon, like check mm -hmm. wedding. Yeah, I, I, I would assume if it's outside, which majority of them should be outside, start already by the time when the sun is not extremely strong which 5 p.m is still strong but not as strong as during the noon hours um and uh so we were scheduled only for four hours which is quite short working day for us but in that time we managed to sweat out like five liters of water yeah i have to say like i had a uh, short sleeve shorts and shoes and First of all, the whole place, Dana Villas, it was a maze and people <laughs> were, the staff was pretty lazy. So they didn't really want to walk us all the way there where we were supposed to go and we couldn't find it. And everything is really slopey. So there were many stairs and we kept going up and down and running around because we couldn't find the place right. Yeah, it was difficult to uh, locate both bride and the groom. Uh, they were in separate places. We were sent to one room, then uh, which was closer to the reception. So the the staff actually um, uh, accompanied us. But then they they sent us to the groom, which was already where he was already at the recep uh, the the ceremony place. And staff kind of gave us like, ah, oh, you just walk all the way down to, <laughs> to the pool area, then you turn right, and we turned right. And there was a maintenance room. Yep. It was not even like an accommodation. So yeah, that was hard to find. So it was a little bit complicated, but we, we still managed and it, it was fine. But just the staff wasn't really helpful because it was so hot. I saw the dude, he was working in the office with AC, but he still had like sweated back, like <laughs> see-through. And yeah, I basically, in the first 30 minutes and going st steps up and down with my backpack with the gear i was through and I, w I looked like i just took shower yeah you he he sweated even on his shins and uh like what do you call this like the forearms yes well, and of course because it was so hot yeah and when i sweat i have a sweaty upper lip but this time i was soaked in anyway. sweat the entire face it was really nice so basically everything was in one place the ceremony what was the name of the venue dana villas i said it yeah and then after the ceremony we also sneaked away for a few sh shoots for video and photos to church close by and then we carried on down the steps again yeah for some like a church view and rock view and caldera view actually of the whole sea and the rocks and 
Yeah. yeah. It was really pretty. But we were hired for this job as a content creators only. Yes. Right? So what was our plan? So our plan was that we do photography and videography, but I personally got interested into uh, content creation as well. Uh, and it would be an amazing opportunity also to get a Santorini wedding. So when bride Brie, Brianna, she contacted me, she asked only for a content creator because they already had a photographer and a videographer, I assume from the venue and then the, the event, the wedding planner. So we kind of negotiated a little bit and we ended up agreeing on me being a half day content creator. Basically she, she said like a friend with a phone uh however i asked her if uh julius and i could actually do some professional pictures and videos for her and her fiance and she happily agreed mainly, mainly for us though for yeah and portfolio so we could add it to portfolio so basically we did content creation behind the scenes videos and pictures both of us uh we did uh, professional pictures uh, and professional video. So we tagged along on everything. There was a point, one point where I was holding a phone and a camera at the same time taking the same shot and I looked over and Julius was doing exactly the same. Because thing. it was worth it, anyway. Yes. But how was it for you to work with other main photographer? Quick interruption, guys. If you'd like to support us, please make sure that you like our videos, just subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. And if you have anything to add or ask, feel free to comment down below. And his assistant who was a videographer. Um, I would say people come in different colors. Sometimes those colors are not the ones I um, can like relate to. I would say, of course, like honest this is an honest podcast right so he he was a bit um uh, not friendly in the beginning mm. he even implied that we were not paid to do this job which is not correct we were paid but he was really rude in this sense he yeah. came to us and like hey guys stay out of the shots i get paid for this okay so you and we were like no we get paid for it too and we've been doing this for this for some time so don't worry we know how to work and he kept interrupting us jumping in our sentences and yeah he never introduced even himself he just immediately said like uh you stay, stay behind all our equipment and we're like we do this as well and we re respect each other's work so we yeah. know it and bride actually wrote to me that you know the main photographer asked us to stay away from the the their shots which of course we would but after some time when he saw that yeah. we are not stupid and we know how to work with other people he yeah he was like icebreaker and he got yeah. better then he was like well sometimes he was telling us what to do which i don't appreciate because i know what to do and yeah. you will see like i don't know if we'll able to see ever <clears throat> her brianna brianna's wedding video mm. But I will do full on wedding video. I don't have preparations and stuff, drone shots, but I will still make something nice. And I would dare to say that it will be better than the video they did. And they had the priority and better shot and got into our shots. So, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. And I'm glad that he then wasn't purposefully messing yeah, up. No, our he was. He was even saying like, oh, sorry, guys. And he like he apologized for being in our shots, which is funny because we I was standing with a phone. And so that was nice. And yeah, it was an icebreaker because he had a bit of a hostility. But when he saw that we were not planning to steal away his show, yeah. he turned around and uh, the assistant was younger guy and he was pretty nice. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, he, he was super nice. So, yeah. Um, I would say uh, the, there was a, a good side to it was that we didn't have to stress about oh uh, we have to go to this place because obviously he was in charge so he chose the place he chose the timing the sunset shoots the poses and everything even though we tried to steal a couple of but the the bride was nice she was actually confirming with 
him the photographer first if this is okay and then she let us do whatever yeah true they asked so because I, we have some ideas so i understand that but yeah how about how about you like i know you worked with other photographers uh, while you were doing videography but how how does it well it was fine it was just really tight in space and yeah. everything in like direct sun and it was hard to avoid to get different shots <clears throat> and get the, really the shots that I wanted because I didn't want to obstruct the view of other cameras. But I did my best and I, I think it will be still pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure you'll make it super nice. And I pointed out that like sometimes I was surprised how static the i guess the videographer must have been like not a beginner but definitely not a, as a professional as you because it was so static and he was giving direction he was yeah the photographer was giving yeah. him the commands basically yeah yeah and then i, I turn around and i see you in between the bushes just like <laughs> well, trying to get my creative uh artistic shots. but i have to say one uh, thing on the contrary like or as a difference compared to how we work and how he worked the photographer i think george was his name right yeah like there's a huge difference because in my opinion sometimes i would say the couple felt a little bit uneased or stressed or even as the kids getting punished because he was really giving them right do you feel the same he was giving them commands like turn and since he had bad English, <clears throat> he had a hard time communicating exactly what he wanted. Mm. And sometimes I felt like they were a little bit uncomfortable because those were like strict commands. And I know we don't work this way. We, we try to make it as like friendly as possible while getting the shots. Here he wanted, I felt like it at least, that he wanted the shots for any like price. So even like commanding the couple to go and really act the way that he wanted the shot. For us, we like to have, I would say, more like spontaneous shots, like cuddle and stand. And... Yeah. Oh. I am not sure if the couple felt uncomfortable because the groom was obviously uncomfortable. Uncom bride was enjoying the thing but but they looked amazing together yeah it, it, nice couple. it was pretty but i think he the photographer was 52 yeah right yeah he said he's been doing it for 25 years i would say that because of his age they were thinking okay so he's a bit older so he has the authority so let i don't think if we do that first of all mm, i we are not that type of duo that like oh you do this you have to do this 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 but still it would not come out as okay as it came from him because he's older yeah it's, he knew what shots he wants to yeah. get yeah and he's been doing this in santorini i think he said for 10 years or so so he knows exactly which like side looks better for this angle or but well, we know that too you know yeah but for him this is i don't know for like, this he, place he, yeah it's exactly how to pose because yeah. he's he does this i maybe like twice a week you know? yeah but so, i'm pretty excited to see our creations for being here for the first time yeah uh, seeing the location for, for the first time and basically doing what we know and do and love but improvising because we didn't know the place right yeah and i have to say like we try to do a lot of icebreakers with the guests as well you know like we try not to neglect them and then even the the bride's dad was like oh I was it was like, super nice oh, talk to you guys while we were leaving so you know i mean we were already in a rush because uh, i mean even the photographer and the videographer were le they left and yeah, we were kind of the last one so we were rushing but yeah it's it's not, like those little feedbacks are nice you know that absolutely the report with basically everyone from the family is also super yeah. nice. They were very, very, it was micro wedding. There were six people in total or eight, eight total, eight in total, including the couple. So yeah, micro wedding, super pretty. I mean, Santorini is beautiful. The sunset, 
never disappoint. We've had five sunsets. But we were rushing to get you to, to, today. That was tough. Yeah. Because we were at one sunset spot and needed to get back to like Bangkok. the dinner place, first dance place. So, but we yeah, managed. Sunsets are gorgeous, pretty. The, the Not island. like in such dull, no? Sugdol, Praha. Anyway. Yeah. But no, but really pretty. We can talk about Santorini in another video. <laughs> well, yeah. Because otherwise, for me, this island is pretty... Unless you're staying in a resort, like, this is not a fully resort, right? No, it's this a is a hotel and we have really nice place today and yesterday. But unless you have a really nice resort, then the island is really dry and look d not full of life because everything is yeah. really dry, deserted. But there's you, you can find always plenty of things to do here. Yeah. And we, since we got this gig, we decided also to connect it with our holiday or travel in the summer. The rest of it. So, yeah. So hopefully we'll be able to bring you and show you even in this video some pictures once we go through them and eventually release a video from this. So, yeah. yeah. So I think good job. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.